Thank you for joining me as we continue our prayer journey with the Sermon on the Mount. We're stopping tonight at Matthew 1 through 4. That is one of the scriptures that begins our Lenten journey on Ash Wednesday about almsgiving. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward for your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. So I invite you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. Breathe in and release your breath. And I want you to just, the word that has stuck with me is beware. So I invite you to think about that word on your in and out breath. Beware. 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 Be wary, be cautious, be on guard, exercise care, exercise vigilant. God, we began Lent with these words of caution. We entered our Lenten journey reminded of our fallibility, of our egos and desires to be seen, to be trumpeted, to let everyone know how good we are, how much we do, how much we give. You invite us to beware, to be wary, to be cautious, to exercise care. You invite us to beware, to be cautious of how we practice our faith. You remind us that the goal isn't to be seen and heard by others, but to be seen and heard by you. And money is so hard which is why you spend so much time talking to us about it. So help us to feel your movement and push when we spend our money. Help us to set aside money that can be used to bring out your kingdom of love. Nudge us when we should give to a person, a church, a cause. Nudge us when we lay out our budget to have some for you, to use for you. Beware, be cautious, be on guard, exercise care. As we stop here with you in prayer, we exercise our care. And we ask you to care. To care for our families and friends, especially those who are sick and in need of healing love. There are still so many who've caught this horrible virus around the world. Be with those who have COVID-19. Care for those who are lost and least and last. Care for those who are worried about money and food and shelter. Care for those who are frightened about the future. Care for those who've experienced violence this week at the hand of the stranger, at the hand of a gun, but also at the hand of those who are supposed to love them. God, exercise care as you draw near to us with your love. Amen.